Do you want to load cloud JSON data into Power App? How will you do this? Hi, this is Krupali from KnowHow Academy. So let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video. In this video, you will learn if there is some JSON file in a cloud and you want to load the JSON file into your Power App and display the data into gallery control, how will you do that? So let's start. Before going ahead in this video, I am suggesting you to see the basic video of how to work with JSON data in Power App and then I advise you to see this video. The link of the video is given in the description so you can check it out. So let me show you this is my Power App. In this Power App, I design a screen which will load the data when I click on load the data, it will load data into gallery control. Now this gallery control will load data from JSON file. Now where is that JSON file? Let me show you. If you go to the new site and search for dummy JSON data. Okay, in that you will see this link and here this is a dummy JSON file from where I am loading this data into my Power App Gallery Control. So how you can do that? So to do that in Power App, first of all, you should understand what is JSON data. And the second thing is that from this URL, you need to load the data into the Power App. So to load the data from this URL, you need to use Power Automatic. So let's see how you can do that. So first of all, I'm taking one new screen and in new screen, I'm design, I'm taking one gallery control. So let me take a gallery control. Okay. Now in this gallery control right now, I'm not setting any data source. So let me just uh, adjust the design of that and I'm taking one button. Now, when I click on the button, automatically from this URL data will be loaded into the variable or data will be loaded into the gallery control. So to do that, first of all, you need to design a power automate flow. So let me tell you what is power automate. Power Automate is a kind of Microsoft Power Platform services which will allow you to do automated some task. So how you can do that? So first of all, what you need to do, you need to go to the Power App Developer Login, click on the Login and remember, if you are using Power Automate, you should have a work or school Microsoft account. So click on Sign In. Remember, you need to load this JSON data into the Power App. So the link is given in the description. You can check it out. Okay. So here you need to go to the flow. Here you will see uh, the different flow which you have made. Okay. I have made this test data flow. So let me open it and show you. Here this flow will read the data from this URL. Okay, which I show you. Okay, so how you can design a flow in that? So to do that, go to the Power App. If you are logging separately into the Power Automate, it's okay. If you don't want to log in separately into the Power Automate, still you can do that. So here you need to click on Flow. And here you need to add design a new flow. So click on the uh, plus sign and click on create new flow once you click on create new flow it will ask you that whether you want to create a flow from ready-made template or you want to design your own flow so i don't want to use ready-made template to design a flow so i am designing it from a blank so you need to click on create from blank first thing you need to remember while you are designing a flow that is, you need to give always meaningful name to your flow. So here I'm giving a name of the flow is load JSON data. Okay. And click on save. 
okay you can click on save but since it will generate an error if you try to save it why because you know whenever uh, you are designing a flow at least you should design one action so first of all what i need to do i need to design or i need to design an action which will read data from this given link so you need to click on new step you need to search for http okay and here there is one uh, action available that is http now here it is written premium what is the meaning of the premium because depending on your power app or microsoft license you will able to use this action if you do not allow to use premium connector then you cannot do this okay so click on http since i have that license so i can use a premium action now using which method you want to get the data so i want to get the data using get method okay generally when you are getting data from website two methods are there get and post so i am using a get method now here you need to mention using which url you want to get the data so i need to copy this url and paste it okay so power automate will automatically read the data from this now rest of the things you do not need to mention then what you need to do after getting the data using that url you need to get back result to the power app so click on the new step and search for respond power app okay here you will search an action you will see the action that responds to power app or flow so you need to select that now what you want to return i want to return whatever data that http action is getting so you need to click on add an input and i am taking this data into one variable since json data you can store it in a table kind of variable or a normal string variable but since power automate uh, do not support table variable as a output so i am taking text variable and giving the name as a data this is the name of the output variable and what you want to return i want to return a http action what it will return i want to return whatever body it contain so here you need to click on that and here you need to click on see more once you click on see more you will get a body here body means what this means that whatever your http action will get the body contain that data so you need to click on body and whatever data is written it will store it into that variable and that variable via that variable we will access this data into power app okay and click on save once you click on save your flow will ready and it will automatically added into that so we have designed a flow that is load json data now what i want to do i want to uh, load this data on button click event into one variable so what should i write so first of all click on the button and give a meaningful text load data into uh, load data generally we are taking that load data now what you need to write on this okay just let me expand this and here you need to first get the data you need to parse the data so how you can do that so you need to write parse json now what you want to do i want to parse the json data which data which is returning by a flow so you need to write a load data uh, load json data flow name and this once you write this you know it will run that but i want to get something from the uh, power automate flow so you remember we have created a data variable you need to write dot and data automatically it will get the data it will automatically it will fetch the data which is returning from the power app. automate now i want to store this data into one variable so i can use a set 
and then I will write variable 1 comma and then complete the bracket. So once you load this data, it will store it into one variable and the variable name is variable 1. Okay, so let's save that and run it. Once you click on load data and check it, the data will be there. Let's see that variable. So click on this, go to the global variable and here one variable is there. Variable 1, we, you can see that, right? Click on that and click on view variable. Now see, in this variable, whatever data is there in that, it is loaded into that. Now that data I cannot understand. I need to represent it into gallery control using proper format. So how can I do that? So click on the gallery control, go to the item properties. If you directly write here variable one, it will generate an error. Why? Because gallery control can handle only table kind of data. So if this is a single variable, you need to convert it into a table. So there is one function called table and inside that you need to write a variable name and data is displayed. Now here, how can I get a proper value? So let me just go to that. Here you can read that there is a name key is there, language key is there, ID key is there, bio key is there and version. key. And basically as you know that JSON is a key value key pair value concept. So if I want to display a name of a person, how can I display that? So click on the, that here uh, and here write that this dot value dot name. So here it will display the name of the person. Now see the name of the person here it is fetching from that. But remember this is not fetching directly from that. We have loaded data into that variable. That So from this variable, it is loading data. Remember, we are not fetching data directly here from the site, but we have loaded data into this variable using Power Automate. And using that variable, we are displaying that. Okay. So here I am displaying the name. Then second thing, I want to display, let's say language this item dot value dot you need to write the name of the key and it will automatically display that since it is not containing any image information so I'm not using it okay now let's say if you want to change the layout you can change the layout and here I also want to display the ID so this item dot value dot ID so it will display the ID and let me give a proper color to that. So go to the template fill property where it is. Click on that entire template and go to the template fill property and write color dot uh, whatever you like. Okay, so I'm just right filling this color. Click on save and see. So whatever data you are loading from this URL, we are displaying it into the Power App in Gallery Control. So I hope you get an idea that how you can display JSON data which is coming from the external file into the Power App. Thank you for choosing KnowHow Academy as a source of your IT knowledge. We are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world. If you have any question, do not feel hesitate to reach out to us. Stay curious and keep learning.